In this lecture, we'll be looking at vascular trafficking. So, you need to understand some of the trafficking pathways. Uh, for example, phagocytosis, endocytosis, receptor mediated endocytosis, the formation of CCV, flattering coated vesicle, the COP1 and COP2 uh, coated vesicles. So, by the end of this lecture, you should be able to describe the differences between uh, phagocytosis and endocytosis. Explain the process of receptor mediated endocytosis and describe the formation of clattering coated vesicle. So, in the previous lecture, I did mention on two trafficking pathways, which are anterograde, meaning that the movement towards the plasma membrane, and then we have retrograde movement where it moves from the plasma mem membrane into the cell. And here we have endocytosis as well as exocytosis. So if you see this diagram, you can see that from your endoplasmic reticulum, ER, okay, you have your Golgi, you have your trans-Golgi, and you have the secretory vesicle, okay, and this secretion, we have two types, the constitutive secretion as well as the regulated secretion. So this secretion, it is always on, okay, like for example, the formation of amylase in your saliva, and this regulated secretion, it is secreted when it is needed, okay, for example, your testosterone or your estrogen, your LH, okay, enzymes, hormones. So, here you see this picture summarizes the entire trafficking pathways. So, the movement from here, from your ER to the plasma membrane, this is called as anterograde. So, the movement from your plasma membrane to your cell inside the cell, for example, this movement, you see, this movement, these are called as retrograde movement, okay, and you have endocytosis as well as you have the exocytosis here. So if you see at the bigger picture, you can see that from your TGN, your trans network, once your proteins are properly folded, are properly modified, it will be packaged and it will be transported out. Okay, so for transportation, we have two types. We have the regulated secretion and the constitutive secretion. Okay, as well as um, you have endocytosis and the exocytosis. And for one of these enzymes, for example, the lysosome, okay, this lysosome will be transported and will be fused to your endosome. And therefore, your endosome can mature okay into the late endosome so this movement of proteins um, you can basically see in terms of the secretory pathway okay the retrograde pathway and the trans Golgi network lysosome pathway we have three main pathways here so firstly you have the secretion the secretion pathway the trans Golgi network to the lysosome pathway and the retrograde pathway, okay, which is this, okay, which is going back. So if you see a snapshot of cell surface, okay, you have plenty of vesicles, and this is just a, an appearance of one vesicle. Okay, you can see the vesicle contains plenty of proteins. So let's talk about phagocytosis. So phagocytosis is the ingestion of large particles, okay, which includes the whole cell or the microorganisms. So many of these unicellular organisms, they use phagocytosis as a mean to acquire food. So for a more complex organism, um, it is usually restricted to specialized cells called as phagocytes. So for example, for human, your white blood cell it is quite specialized and they will phagocytosize your foreign material inside your body. And then if you look at endocytosis, 
Most eukaryotes, they carry one or more forms of endocytosis for the uptake of extracellular materials, for example here, okay? So, the process of endocytosis, it is, it is quite interesting. So, firstly, um, the plasma membrane will invaginate, okay, forming a pocket. And then this pocket will begin to pinch off and closing the area of the extracellular space. And this membrane will fuse, forming a vesicle. And lastly, this vesicle will be separated from the plasma membrane. Okay, and this is how you get the uh, vesicle, okay, from your plasma membrane. So this vesicle, it is called as your endocytic vesicle that contains your ingested substances or particles. So this endocytosis, it, it is the process of taking nutrients from the outside of the cell and bringing them inside the cell. So the other types of uptake includes autophagy, okay, uh, phagocytosis, macropinocytosis, clatrin mediated, um, receptor mediated endocytosis, and cavula. So if you see here, phagocytosis, the ingest ingestion, uh, macropinocytosis, the cell drinking mechanism, okay. So if you look at the reason why a cell needs so many of this uptake. Uh, firstly, it is meant to receive nutrients for general housekeeping, down regulation of surface receptors, okay, uh, pathogen entry, immunity, as well as the transport of nutrients through the cell layer. So, if we see here, we have the uh, macropinosome. And you can see that the cell basically ingests by forming a protrusion. And this protrusion is facilitated by actin. So the cells will acquire substances okay, by receptor mediated endocytosis or clatrin dependent cell endocytosis. So this Receptor mediated endocytosis, it is more specific towards specific proteins. So the cells will use receptors on the outer cell surface to internalize many macromolecules. So membrane cells can ingest hormones, growth factors, serum, proteins, enzymes, cholesterol, antibodies, and so on. So the process of receptor mediated endocytosis includes the presence of specific ligands okay that bind to the receptor so we see here we have the ligand so this ligand is a protein of interest and this ligand will bind to the receptor so we have the receptor it is always present on the plasma mem membrane so this receptor ligand complexes okay they will bind this receptor ligand complexes will diffuse later laterally until they encounter a specialized region and this re region here is called as the coated pit okay so this coated pit eventually they will pinch off you see here they will pinch off forming a vesicle <coughs> and the process here includes the uncoating of the outer layer and then they can fuse okay with other proteins okay the other thing is the cop2 so cop2 vesicles transport proteins from rough endoplasmic reticulum to golgi okay so this is quite specific cop1 vesicles mainly transport proteins in the retrograde direction okay between the golgi Cysteine and from cis Golgi back to ER. And clatrin vesicles transport proteins from the plasma membrane, okay, to or, or the cell surface and the trans Golgi network to late endosomes. So you can see here we have the formation of clatrin. So firstly, um, it will invaginate. So 
it will curve this coated plate it will curve and at some point this membrane here will fuse and the entire vesicle will be pinched off forming a coated vesicle so the meaning of coated vesicle it means that it has a receptor okay and that receptor so this is what we know as receptor mediated endocytosis. 